still see a couple of people joining okay i think we have uh, everyone we are waiting for uh, good afternoon guys welcome to our first pre match press conference of the new season uh, we play fc goa tomorrow and to address the press conference today first we'll have uh, our captain murtada fall followed by our head coach uh, des pakhing i'm just going to hand over the stage to murtada just uh, a couple of rules if you have a question please put your name in the chat box when i take your name you can ask the question okay shashwat as always first one to ask you can ask a question uh, good afternoon skipper Uh, i just uh, wanted to ask you the coach uh, talked about how there are a lot of indian center back options this season to play alongside you so how do you feel your bonding has been with them in this pre season and how do you expect them to go in this isl season hello good afternoon yes i think uh, we have a good indian uh, quality players so we work together Uh, in pre-season, in friendly games, and uh, I think you have a player who can uh, play this uh, to this with me in in defense so easily because we have good player and good uh, quality of Indian players. Thank you, uh, Clinton. Uh, I'm Tata. Good uh, good afternoon. Well, my question to you is that uh, tomorrow is uh, supposed is said to be another big rivalry crash that two. against fc goa so how do you take this match on a personal note and what do you feel will be the results yeah it, it's a important game like every game eh? because uh, tomorrow we start the season so for us we need to start very well because uh, it's the beginning of the season so we take uh, seriously every team the same eh? not big difference between fc goa or another teams so we need to be ready ourselves same uh, mentality for every game okay adarsh hari from hafi football you have a question yeah uh, hi murtada hope you're doing well so uh, as you're the captain of the team how much of a responsibility it will be for you and how excited are you to kick off the new season yeah this captain now responsibility will come up was uh, before captain also we was have uh, responsibility in the team because we need to help your teammate uh, help the team to win so now this captain will come more uh, responsibility but uh, i think uh, we'll do our job our job is to help the player with uh, our experience to help the young players so this is the most important thank you motara um sayan from tv9 sayan do you have a question okay can get a response uh, harsh yeah um, hi captain uh, my question to you was that uh, being one of the most senior players in the team uh, how what are your thoughts on the young players in the team uh, this season your thoughts on the young players yeah. in the team this season what do you think what do you think of the young players oh, okay in the team yeah you have uh, almost same same players no too much change so i think they win a little bit experience uh, about last season so this season they need to improve themselves so with more confidence for them not like last season so also they have good quality so they need to learn 
about the coach and I think if they do do the job, it will be easy for them. Kaushal. Yeah. So I have sort of a two-part question. Firstly, what do you think about your opponents tomorrow at Sigwa? You sort of had a very close semi-final against them last season. What do you make of them uh, this season? And secondly, what's your impression of the new coach being so far? How is he like? How is he different from the previous manager? What 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 does he bring different to the team? Yeah, the coach is uh, is new. Uh, they have a new idea, but almost the same. Like uh, our style of play, they bring a little bit more. So I think we don't feel a big change uh, in the team. We feel more motivation. Now, about the opponent tomorrow, like I say, yeah, we will start the season. So we need to be good. We will start. Uh, I think for me, every team is important. Every game is important. We take seriously for every game, every team. Thanks, Ashin. Uh, we'll take the last couple of questions for Paul. Ashin, you have a question? Yeah. Hi, Motara. And uh, picking up from uh, what Harsh asked earlier, is there any particular Indian player whom uh, who has impressed you in the preseason or? You know, any uh, Indian players who you think could, like, you know, have a breakthrough season from Mumbai? Yeah, I cannot say, I cannot say names because uh, it's between us, you know. But uh, something I know is uh, we have good quality of Indian players. And I think they can do the job. So let's see. And uh, we'll see this in, 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 the, in the season. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, there are no more questions for Pan. We'll move on to the head coach. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Pan. Thank you. Coach, Yeah. Thank you. Guys, same drill as always. Names in the chat box, please. Okay. Shashwat. Uh, good afternoon, coach. Uh, so the two games that we've had so far in the ISL season have been very high scoring. And uh, before this season started, uh, the rules or the composition of the 11 was changed to have one extra Indian player in the team. So do you think these two are related or what are your general thoughts on ha having more Indian players in the playing 11? Yeah, good afternoon to all of you, uh, firstly. Um, yeah, I've watched the first two games, and I think it's always interesting. The, the first the first game of anyone's season <laughs> have been high, they've both been high scoring, uh, and it's been exciting to watch. Whether or not that's related to a change in in Indian players or rules, I, I wouldn't say so. I think it's just teams being probably a bit more comfortable in themselves and wanting to go out and try and express their own playing styles and wanting to win games. And uh, that's certainly something that's kept me very excited and interested in, in those two games. Uh, and uh, just moving on from that, uh, your first game is against FC Goa. FC Goa's last game last season was against Mumbai City FC. So, have you watched uh, footage of that semi-final against FC Goa? And how have you prepared your team for this clash? Yeah, we've watched uh, we've watched a lot of footage, not just of Goa, but of course the the league. Um, the the main focus though will be on on us. Uh, we we've got a, a playing group here. We've probably got about eighty percent of time we've spent focusing on us and our playing style and how we go about what we want to do. Whilst also making sure that we are prepared as best as we can be for what we expect from Goa. Um, so the the work and the time that's been spent on us, uh, whilst also being respectful and being aware of the dangers that Goa do uh, pose to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ashwat. <clears throat> Adarsh. Yeah. Hi, coach. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, so my question to you is that now that uh, there's a new rule in the ISL that only four foreigners are allowed, and also uh, the team has gone has a considerable change in the uh, foreigners. Only two of the last season's foreigners were retained. So how do you think you will be able to build up the chemistry between the players? Uh, and are you excited for the first match? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not a change for me because I've come in and, and these were the rules when I took the job. So it's not a change so much for me. Uh, and I think it's the same as you go anywhere in the world, whether you're playing or you're coaching, you know, trying to get a group of uh, 27 players as we have here 
trying to gel and, and point in the right direction is very important, regardless whether they're Indian players or they're foreign players. So we've done a lot of work on the field, but we've done a lot of work off the field in this bio bubble to try and get 27 players all pointing in, to, in towards the same sort of direction and making sure everyone's aware of where, how, we, how they contribute towards what we do. Um, in terms of how am I looking forward to the game? I'm very excited. Um, this is my 19th season of, of coaching, obviously my first in India. Um, but I've been fortunate to work with some fantastic coaches and people around the world and experience different cultures and, uh, and leagues. And this is obviously a new one for me, but one I'm very much looking forward to. Yeah, that's great, Coach. Uh, one more question. Are there any in injuries or any injury concerns? Is the full squad available for selection for tomorrow? At the moment, we're all clear. So we have everyone available to us. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Coach. Arsh, you. you have a question? Yeah. Um, hi, Coach. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, so, FC Goa have retained the coach and a lot of core players from the last season and uh, they started their pre-season quite early and they also won the Durant Cup. In contrast, you've been here for uh, barely a month. Do you think that puts you and the team uh, on the back foot uh, for the game tomorrow? No, I think we've done as much as we could have done in the time we've had. Uh, you know, it's, I think anywhere in the world you'd like more time with players on and off the field. but. Uh, you know, we, we haven't had that. So what we've had to do is make very good use of the time we've had with this group. And again, we've spent, like I said, a lot of time on the field, uh, but we've spent more time off the field, really working with this group of players to, to try and just add and build to the playing style from last year. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Arch. Sandeep? Hi, Coach. Um, I just wanted to ask you in the sense that uh, generally the hardest time to sort of motivate a team is when they're already champions. So, coming into the situation, we also seen that a lot of the ISL teams don't uh, defend as well. So, how much of a focus are you putting on the mental aspect of that? Yeah, it's a good question because, um, you know, we asked that question to the group again last night when we were doing some work before we trained. And, you know, it, we can either look at that and be satisfied with winning one championship and one final, um, or do we want to actually build, uh, build upon that and try and continue uh, building our club and, and what we, we obviously do in, in Indian football. And we look at other clubs across the league now, and there's other clubs in this league that have won more than we have and won it more times than we have. So that now becomes our focus as to, we still need to play and try and win games. But again, if we want to now build on this dynasty and start building a Mumbai football club up to be that kind of club, we need to, to also reach the standards and reach the levels that other clubs in this league have done over the, the past seven years. All the best. Thank you. Thanks, Sandeep. I think, Harsh, you have another question? Uh, yeah. Uh, Coach, so you mentioned that uh, you would have liked a bit more time with the team. And uh, leading up to the game tomorrow, how confident are you that you have found the ideal 11 to go into the match? Because a lot of players joined the camp late, uh, just a few days back or uh, just a few weeks back. So are you confident that you have found the right 11 for tomorrow's game? Yeah, I'm confident I found the right 11. I'm not going to tell you what that 11 is right now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like you said, we, we've had four weeks and we've had players come in and out, or sorry, in at uh, various times throughout that four weeks. So, you know, it's, it's, it's what it is. Uh, we have to, to deal with that. Um, but again, the way the players have adapted to what's been asked of them and the work that they've done prior to joining the bubble has put us in a better space than maybe we, we could have been. So like I said, we, we've done as much work as we can with what we've had and uh, we've got ourselves to, I think, the best place we can be ready for tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Coach. All the best for tomorrow. Thanks, Harsh. Shashwat. And I think we'll just take the final few questions. Uh, good afternoon, Coach, again. Uh, so, uh, coming into, you said that you watched both the ISL matches this season so far. And Mumbai City have a philosophy of playing out from the back. Teams so far this season have faced a few problems while playing out for, from the back. So, as a coach... How do you sort of uh, fill your squad with confidence considering that a lot of these players will be playing a competitive fixture for the first time together? So, what is the general chat about? Yeah, I think there's, I think you, you can get caught up on playing a certain way of football. And, you know, playing out from the back is, if that's a way of playing, if possession-based football is a way, then great. But I think if you're going to play out from the back, there needs to be a purpose behind it and it needs to be on to play out from the back. Um, it's about, for me, picking the best option. So if we can play from the back, we will. If we can't, we've got a different way that we will play until we can. Um, so it's about having more than one way or one string to your bow that hopefully when that situation arises, you can pick the best selection to advance yourself up the field. Um, what was the second part to that question, sorry? 
Yeah, so what, what is the general chat you have to the players, especially let's say in the first half, the players have struggled to play out from the back. So what are the kind of conversations you have, let's say, at halftime or from pit side? Yeah, I think as the game goes on, you know, we, we've got an idea as to what to expect, but you can never guarantee what happens on game day. So it's about us just trying to recognise, is there a reason we can't play out from the back, um, whether it be through people not being in the right positions or maybe the opposition pressing a slightly different way that we need to try and correct that will help us then play out from the back? Or is it a case that we aren't making the best decisions? So is it on to actually play out from the back or do we need to play a different way, either for a period of time to allow that to, to happen? Um, so I don't think there's one answer to that. I think it's just about trying to recognise a few things um, to then put some confidence back into the players for them to make the right decisions. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Ashwood. Um, if there are any further questions, otherwise we'll call it time. Just wait, give it a few seconds. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon ahead of the next uh, game.